Yesterday, severe weather had us all on edge in the Tennessee Valley. I know most of us were happy to see the sun today, but for some people in Fort Payne, their troubles are far from over after widespread flooding left a laundry list of problems behind. Our Sydney Stallworth was there today. If you take a look where I'm standing, most of it is dry right now, but just yesterday, this lot behind a Fort Payne shopping center was inches deep in mud, and today business owners are facing a big headache after the storm brought water and mud to actually through their back doors. We were here till like 1130 last night trying to shore it up. You can see the sandbags that are here now that weren't here when you were here last night. Charlie Campbell's wife is one of the owners of this shopping center off Glen Boulevard in Fort Payne, but this is what things look like last night. Despite their efforts, the water and mud made its way into the stores. This actually is Golden Treasures is right here. It's a formal wear and dress shop. And so we had mud, red mud, 20 feet into the store. And so those dresses, there's thousands of dollars worth of dresses in there. There's red mud all, all the way in. Mm. And that's never happened until four years ago when they started doing the excavating up here. City crews did respond to the property last night to help. We do appreciate them coming at least trying to clean it up. I checked in with the Fort Payne Street Department. I've lived here my whole life and I've never seen water come off the mountain like that. We asked them about the problems at the shopping center on Glen. We, we go there quite often. The vet is a waterway there, so we're able to go in and try to help them out as much as they can. He says the big hill behind the building and the high volume of water led to the issues at the shopping center. The street department is looking to get federal aid to help repair the city's public property damage. Each time we have a disaster like this, we'll go out and do our survey and then get all of our numbers together, send them in to EMA, and then if it is declared a disaster based on those, that amount of money, then uh, it'll go to FEMA and then we'll apply through them. In Fort Payne, Sydney Stallworth, WZDX News.